Right, I've arrived at, um, see look, there's a sign there, look. A bit overgrown though, isn't it? Yeah, you probably can work your way around that way. Um, I can see lots of tents and yurts and that further over. I might have a bigger camp base now. There's, if you go in that field, there is a pathway through there you can go to probably kill over that way. We're still on the green, Quantock Greenway, and we're entering Gentle Yoga at Holford Village Hall. Ooh. So I've been coming here for quite a long time. And uh, and I've, I've videoed a lot. I've got a lot of uh, footage on this place before these Buddhist monks took it over. That's if they're still doing it. They got women as well. And we just do a little bit of video and going up here. It is lunch time. Well, no, it's past lunch time. No, it's two o'clock. We have got a bit of a hill to climb in a minute. It's all uphill now for quite a while, actually. And that's going to take an hour. Get us get up here, I think. I think I used to be fitter and walk quicker than I do now. Yeah, the house will be over there somewhere. They put they were building a fence when I was here last and they were putting the sewage pipes down. But I'm just gonna pass through. I don't really want us to talk today. I'm just gonna pass through. They've probably got cameras. some plaques. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, they've put a fence up around the house now. And there's big tents in the fields just up there. They have uh, probably music and other stuff, festival stuff out here. They got the big house, haven't they? Let's just see what any of this says. I'm not going up there, I'm not going up that way. No. Deliveries. Do not enter retreat in progress. Yeah, I can see it. There's wigwams, and through there, I can see a bit of the house. We just go in so we can get another picture of it from here. There. Through there, look. There's the house. I've been in there. It still looks derelict. Don't look to me like you've done anything, and the door's still open. So here we are folks, Zara and I explored this and um, it's round about there siesta time I think. Yeah, so there's the house, the barns, the house through there, the door is still open doesn't look like it's been done up at all. I just wonder why they've... Maybe they've just done up a couple of rooms. It looks very, very derelict, really. And they put this as like to keep us out. Do you know what I mean? Uh, 
Uh, last time I was coming here, they sort of came out to see me, if you know what I mean. But I didn't want to speak then really a lot. Um, I told them I'd been coming here for years and and stuff, taking lots of photos over the years. They were just really... I thought they were going to restore the house by now. It's been... To be quite honest, I thought that would have been a priority. But maybe they've, they've done certain rooms, they put the sewers in. Um, you know, if they've done a certain amount... Oh, it's the summer, everyone can sleep outside. If it's some sort of Buddhist retreat. Now where those cars are, that used to be the tennis court. There, and then you can see more of the house as we go by. Yeah, I've got a feeling this was the tennis court in the past. There's the walled garden. There used to be a grotto as well, that might be further up. Looks like they've moved some of the... the um, oh yeah, here's an entrance here. They've blocked up, look. That's the house. Right, I've left Old Foxton. It was just a brief passing through. There were a bit few people about, so they probably have spotted me ages ago. That's the College Way. You follow that up round. Um, I'm cutting through now, up through this little coombe here, and I'll be. Um, I'm on the turn. Put it that way. This is known as the turn, where I am going back on a loop, but a different way down. It's a bit more. Oh. Right, I'm just going to stop and have a drink. So I'm going up here now, folks. This is where I have seen deer in the past. Um, I know there's pathways up there. I've done all that as well. Um, there's not a lot I haven't done here. I'm just going to turn off for a little while, have a drink of water and, and carry on. There, look. There's, there's a deer there. I've taken quite a few pictures. I was just talking away to myself, like you do, and I just looked back because I was talking about the guardians. And uh, I spotted that deer there. Might even have antlers. Hello. Right, I'm gonna go on now because I can't hold the camera still for that long. You beautiful darling. Hello. Is Sheila? You got any more of you up here? You said you waited to see me, did you? Say hello. You can say hello to my sister when you see her. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh, isn't that lovely? I've got a picture of a deer. That's still watching me now and it wasn't scared of me I always talk to them when I'm up here I always talk to them like I said who knows if our spirits can change into living animals who knows it's still there now I can see it behind the tree it's still watching me very closely I think it's a female a doe I can't see no antlers. It's, they've got quite large ears, um, basically. See? Got quite large ears, haven't you? Hey? I'll just zoom in again by that tree. Oh. There, look. Hello. You look well fed. Don't you? I won't bother you anymore. You might see me when I go up that way. It's almost like it's listening to me. 
I always talk to them always. Because the thing is, they know me because I'm always going along with my video recording. So that one back there, I mean, I got one once before. He was injured, he had a bad back leg, a stag. And that was around about here. Of course, the deer, um, old fox and house used to be a retreat for the deer, don't forget. But they fenced it all off and they're almost keeping them out. So from that point of view, I feel a bit sad because the Hell Foxton was a deer retreat. But there is a love park and I suspect they've just said that it's got all the park. Um, I went through that gate with Georgia once. Um, we went somewhere but I don't know where it came out. So I'm not going to explore today. That's what I said. If you've got um, your vehicle parked down there, you can actually go around exploring. What's going on in it? Yeah, what's going on and on? Um, but when I've got to get back to Bitcanola because of buses and trains. I can't, I can't do too many diversions. I did a small diversion, didn't I, on the bridge over the stream. There's another big guardian there, look. That's what I call them, these big trees. This is a big one. Big beach. Yeah, there's probably still back there. Big beach, hello. I talk to the trees as well, by the way. I'm going to take a picture really enjoying yeah. oh, this. Yes. Stopping to talk to the deer and the trees. Have a little picnic. Knowing I've got plenty to eat. I'm at peace out here. And it, it isn't far. It's just up in the clearing up there when we turn off. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, I can carry on if I want and branch round another path but I think it takes me further away from Bicknoller Post more close to uh, Wecombe so or the trig point so I don't really want to do that but it might be longer doing ladies day so chill yeah weaves in and out doesn't it Oh, it's great though. I wish I didn't have to worry about transport. You know, it has been quite a cause of... It can nearly put you off going out thinking, oh God. It's always all right going out. When I had to hitch last year in November from Bicknoller because no bus came, I mean, that was horrific, really. The driver didn't tell me he was on strike till I got off the bus. He never said when I got on it. It was really evil how he said it. He said, oh, we might not be able to pick you up, we were on strike. It was like, oh, where you said it? And I waited two hours. It was November, it was getting dark. In the end, I hitched. I took a big risk and I hitched. It was the only choice I had. So, it did put me off for a while. I didn't rush to come back out here. To <laughs> Not that I don't like this place, I love it. I'm enjoying every minute of this. I just like to take my time. I don't like getting out of breath or hot. There's another giant guardian. And I pass through and it seems to me the house, they might have put a bit of paint on the back. I'll have to examine the photos more. <coughs> but the front still looks derelict. Maybe they want it to look derelict because it looks more like with Wordsworth. Although it would have been in, in a good condition when it is time. I don't know what the videos are turning out like everyone. 
It's humpy bumpy. And of course I'm having to hot breathe and still hold the camera. Before I go out into the sun, I'm going to drink the rest of that juice out of that bottle. I'm going to have an orange, actually. I'm going to have an orange because there's a lot of exposure now. When I leave this woods now, I've got my hat. I'm going to be, that wind is going to be so welcoming. Do you know what I mean? Right, over and out for now, I'm going to take some more pictures. Over and out.